Hi, today we will discuss about the control panel settings. The control panel is one of the features of Windows operating system that allow user to modify system control and settings. In control panel, they include several small applications that can be used to change hardware and software settings. Some examples of Windows control panel settings are display keyboard and mouse settings. And some examples of hardware control panel settings are date and time setting, power option setting, font setting, and administrator tool settings. Windows operating system included many control panels, but other can be installed by the third party applications. For example, if you add a new mouse to your computer, so it may come with a CD to install a control panel specific for that mouse. Some other examples are graphic cards. Graphic cards may install additional control panels that give user to greater control over the computer visual settings. Now if you want to open the control panel. So for open the control panel, first you click the start button on the taskbar and then click control panel on the start menu. After that, there you, you can see the several uh, icons. These icons you can use to adjust your computer settings. Control panel can be displayed in two views. First is category view, another is icon view. It can be changed by clicking on view option that is given the upper right corner of your Windows operating system. So here first is icon view. Uh, the control panel icon view can be displayed by large icon view and a small icon view. So Windows categorize icon view in more than 50 control panels programs on your system. These programs starting from action center to windows update center. So here we will discuss about the some of them. So first is your action center. Action center is used to generate alert notification that helps to system run properly and smoothly. Action center display message about security and maintenance. So security related messages are like uh, outdated antivirus programs that need to be updated. Second is scan your computer that helps to improve your system security and maintenance related messages are like set up backup of your files that are not backed up. Other option is administrator tools. So administrator tools is basically a folder that contain shortcuts to various tools that is compromise it. When, uh, when you double click of any program shortcuts, it will start that program. In other words, you can say that administrator tool uh, itself does not do anything, it's just a location that stores shortcut to related programs that are actually stored in Windows folder. There are several administrator tools. These tools are like first is component service, second is data source, third is task scheduler, and last is event viewer. Our next option is backup and restore. So in backup and restore, you can restore back the version of files that are lost, damaged and changed and accidentally damaged. You can also restore individual files, group of files or of the files that you have backed up. Here other options are BitLocker drive encryption. BitLocker drive encryption helps prevent unauthorized access to any files store on the drives. If you activate BitLocker in your computer, then unauthorized user cannot read the access of your system. Next is color management. In color management, in your computer device like mouse, printer, camera have different colors, characteristics. And this is because each device uses a different process to produce a color content. So generally, a default color management settings are OK. But only you can change these settings if you have a specific color management requirement. So our next option is credential manager. Credential manager is a central that store all of your username, passwords and 
X.509 certificates. You can store your users, username, your password in your credential manager. So, whenever you are forget that, so you can check from there. Next option is date and time. Date and time basically used for adjust date and time. If you want to change the time, so select the number to be changed and type the new number. Most computers will be automatically make the changes for daylight savings. And our next option is desktop gadget settings. Gadgets are the small programs which provide easy access to frequently used tools or programs. So there are several gadgets like calendar, clock, CPU meter, feed headlines, currency, weather, etc. So these gadgets are inbuilt in your control panel settings. You can set these gadgets on your desktop. If you want to more desktop gadgets, then you can download from the net. Next option is display. If you want to adjust your display uh, and resolution and brightness of your computer, so you can use display option. Next option is easy of access center. There are several options like uh, make the computer easier to see, make the mouse and keyboard easier to use, make it easier to focus on reading and typing task and use the computer without display. So by using easier to access option, you can make your system easy to use. Next option is folder option. There are three types in folder option. First is general folder option. In general folder option, first one is browser folder option and that if you choose to open the folder in a same windows, when you double click a folder to see what is inside of it, you stay on the same screen. The other option is if you choose to open the folder in our own windows, you double click a folder, it will open it in a new window. The other option is click item and that if you choose a single click option, then folder will open in single click. If you select double click option, then your folder will open in double click. Next is a view folder option. There are several interesting options like run file and folder and hide extension. So by using view folder option, you can hide the extension of your file or you can also hide the file by using that option. Next is search option. In search option, there are several options, what to search, how to search. These are several options in search. Next option of our uh, icon view is internet option. Internet option are used to change internet browser settings. You can set the first web page. You see when you start the browsers. And next is delete temporary files. You can delete the temporary files of your browsers, delete the history and cookies. And you can also save the password and wave information by using this option. You can also set your security labels and specify which program to use for email and reading internet news groups. Next option is keyboard. Keyboard option, in that option to change the speed at which keyboard character repeat and other is to change the delay before keyboard characters repeat and to change the cursor blink rate. Next option is mouse. In that first category is button configuration. In that to swap the function of the right and left mouse buttons under button configuration and select the switch. Like uh, you can select switch primary or secondary button checkbox to change how quickly uh, must click the button by using a double click speed. Move the speed slider towards slow and fast to turn on click lock which enable you to highlight and drag items without holding down the mouse button. Next is like your pointer option. Uh, in mouse, second option is your pointer option. So to change the speed at which the mouse pointer moves slow and fast, so you can change by using that setting uh, to speed up the process selecting a choice when a dialog box appears. Under a snap to select the automatically move pointer 
to the default button in a dialog box and checkbox. Display pointer trails, checkbox moves the slider towards short and long to increase or decrease the length of the pointer trail. To ensure that the pointer does not block your view of the text you are, you are typing. Under visibility, select the hide pointer while type checkbox and to find a mismatch pointer by press the control key. Our next option is network and sharing center. In network and sharing center basically this feature is used to set up a new connection or uh, connect to the network with existing connection. Personalized settings. In personalized setting basically used to change desktop background, windows color, sound setting and screen saver. So for that first you have to click on start button. After that you will go to control panel and after that you will click on personalized setting to open the personalized settings. So uh, there you can also access these options by right clicking the desktop and clicking the personalized option. So here following four commands are used to change personalized settings of windows. First is desktop, desktop background and this feature is used to set desktop wallpaper. So here you can select multiple images or single image and display through the slide show in background. And you can also select your own image by clicking browse option and select any other folder that contain that image. You can also adjust picture position and slideshow time for each pictures. Our next option in personalized setting is window colors. So here you can change windows border, start menu, taskbar color and enable or disable transparency. Change color intensity. If you don't like any of the current colors, so you can click show color mixer to define your own color. Next option is sound. Select a sound from sound scheme combo box. Sound scheme play different sound when starting a windows like you can select the different sound or empty the recycling bin or windows or warning of the windows. So here you can select different different sounds for them. Next option is screen saver. In a screen saver activate when you are inactive in windows for a long period of time. You can set password in a screen saver and also set li time limit after a screen saver will be activated. Our next option is power option. Power option is used to save power or balanced power when your computer battery is low. Here you can set time for several options like dim the display, turn off the display, adjust the computer to sleep and adjust the brightness. Our next option is program and feature setting. In program and feature setting, basically this feature is used to uninstall any program from windows or select a particular program from a list and then click uninstall or repair or change the program. Your next option is reason and language settings. So this feature basically used to change date and time format. Change date in short if you want to change your date in short formats. You will select that option and if you want to your date in long date, long date format, so you can select other option also. So time in short time uh, like uh, first you select the date in short and long after that if you want to select time in short time and long time. So here you can select that also. Next is location. Location uh, by using that location setting you can change the current location of your system of your system. Next is uh, keyboard and language. So uh, to change keyboard input language click change keyboard button. Our next option is sound option. So sound setting is used to adjust system volume, change system sound and manage the audio device. Here the next option will come like speech recognition settings. First point is start speech recognition. So speech recognition allow you to run your computer by voice. So 
set up your computer to recognize voice for that you have to run software by clicking next button after that you can give several instruction by using your voice these instruction are start menu dictate text into document and send and write email previously you are doing all these things by using keyboard and mouse now you can do by your voice second is set up microphone this feature is used to change microsoft setting handset to desktop or desktop to handset our next is text speech tutorial you will hear from text speech tutorial you will learn to use voice command with simple examples you can use letter those command to interact with program on your computer next option is train your computer to better understanding so here you can uh, read text to your computer to improve your computer ability to understand your voice our next option is task bar and start menu first option in task bar and start menu are task appearance task appearance in this module you can lock the task bar auto hide the task bar and change the task bar icons in small and large you can also move the task bar program like uh, left right and top and bottom in task bar button setting you can always combine label or combine levels when the task bar is full next is start menu setting change the power button action to shut down log off restart and sleep customize icon in customize icon menu look and behave in the start menu next is toolbar toolbar uh, in that you can select any of the toolbar like address link desktop tablet pc input panel and add in all these thing you can add in your task bar our next option is user account option in that first option is opening account when you turn on your computer you have to enter user name and password for log in your computer in control panel setting you can set a reset name and password change user accounts picture uh, in that option you can do this things next option is our add and remove account in account setting you can create a account delete a existing account and manage the other accounts and next option is change administrative settings in computer at most one account should behave like administrator here you can also change administration settings and make guest accounts to administrative accounts and administrative accounts to guest accounts next is our like next setting is windows firewall and window defender setting windows firewall uh, protect your computer system from hackers and malicious softwares to access your computer through the internet or a network next is windows defender protect against any uh, potential unwanted softwares other settings are uh, font setting intel hd graphic setting performance tool setting audio manager setting remote desktop setting and windows updated settings uh, this is uh, all about our icon view next view in control panel is category view control panel category view summarize 50 icon views into eight different category these category view are starting from system and security to easy of access in following steps we are discussing about different type of category view basically in that category view we summarize 50 icon view into eight category views so first option is first is system and security so in system and security uh, you can review your computer status back of your computer find fix problem check firewall status change battery settings requirement password and when computer is wake wake up and other settings are like manage bitlocker administrative tools these settings are comes under system and securities our next option is user account setting in that user account setting you can do same as you do in previous like change your account picture add and remove user accounts change your windows password our next option is network and internet in that you can create a new connection 
connect and disconnect old connection, change home page and browser settings. Our next option is like appearance and personalized setting. In appearance and personalized setting are used to change theme, desktop background, screen saver, font, font display and taskbar settings. Next option is hardware and sound setting. This feature is used to change hardware settings like printers, autoplay, sound, power option, display and window mobility center. Our next option is clock language and reason. This feature is used to set time and date. Uh, you can change time zone in that setting. Next option is programs. In that you can uninstall a program, view or install program, run a program and add gadgets to a desktop. Our last is easy of access. Easy of access option is used to speech recognition, uh, change how your mouse and keyboards work. Here in this lecture we learnt about how to change hardware and software setting of your computer. So basically the control panel option are used to change basic settings of your computers. These settings are like program setting, personalized setting, network setting, date and time setting, keyboard setting, mouse setting, user account setting, folder option setting and all other settings. So by using control panel setting you can manage your computer in easy way and you can display your computer in better way. Thank you.